Hi, my name is Sean O'Brien with Agile Technologies and I'm here today at Cascade Sciences to show you how to do the maintenance and a tip seal change on an IDP-15 dry scroll pump. In order to get started, you're going to need a new tip seal kit, scotch Bright, a lint-free cloth, wooden dowel, 4 and 5 millimeter Allen wrench, a small screwdriver or pick, scissors or cutters, compressed air in a can or from a hose, and ethanol. Now let's get started. With the pump off, we're going to disconnect the power cord. The IDP-15 pump weighs over 50 pounds, so as an OSHA requirement, it has to have a lifting eye. In order to change the tip seal, we're going to have to remove the lifting eye. There are six four millimeter Allen head screws that we're going to have to remove. Now I started and removed the top four bolts first. When you remove the last two, don't be surprised when this metal foot drops off. I'm going to put a book under the pump in order to more easily access those screws. I place the book under the feet here, this way this metal plate can drop off. Now with our sixth and final bolt removed, we can remove the cowling. Make sure to slide it around the exhaust. The lead for the fan will need to be disconnected. And now you can slide the metal foot out. The top piece now will slide out. If you forgot to remove the lifting eye, it will get stuck in this step. Next comes the five millimeter Allen head bolts to remove the outboard housing. I'm leaving one screw attached up top in case this comes off easily. Next, as I remove the last bolt, I'm going to support the outboard housing to make sure it doesn't fall. Now we can remove the outboard housing. We'll want to discard the tip seal 
as well as the O-ring, as they will both be replaced in this tip seal change. Now, I'm going to use a small screwdriver to remove the tip seal. This is an anodized metal surface, so you have to be very careful not to scratch it if you use a metal pick or screwdriver. We can discard both the o-ring and tip seal as we will replace them both with a new tip seal and o-ring in our kit. So now let's start cleaning our IDP-15. In purge oven applications, the residue that is left behind requires you to clean it with ethanol. If you don't have access to lab grade ethanol, you can use a high grade spirit such as Everclear or Moonshine. However, if you do use Everclear or Moonshine, there is some water in those alcohols, so you will need to do a final rinse and wipe down with isopropyl alcohol. We'll start and cut a small strip of Scotch-Brite. We're going to wet this with our ethanol. and use our wooden dowel to work it around all of the grooves in the tip seal. Make sure you use a wooden dowel as to not scratch the anodized surface. For this tip seal groove, I'm going to use the straw off my compressed air can. This is a little bit smaller than my wooden dowel and fits nicely. If you have a smaller wooden dowel or other plastic implement, you can use that. I'm going to make sure to get all the dust out of the tip seal groove. And this is a lint-free cloth. You should be using a lint-free cloth. This is important not to use paper towels or napkins. Now that the tip seal channel and groove is cleaned, we can spray it out with compressed air. This will help get rid of some of the residue and alcohol. Okay, now that we've finished cleaning the outboard housing, we're going to go move on to the orbiting plate. The pump has a flat rear so you can stand it on end. This gives easy access to the orbiting plate. We're going to follow the same procedure as we did for the outboard housing on the orbiting plate in order to clean the scrolls. And now we've finished cleaning up the orbiting plate of the IDP-15. Now let's put it back together. Now we're going to take our new tip seals from our tip seal kit and begin to install them. On the IDP-15, there are two sets of grooves 
in both the orbiting plate and outboard housing. When we start to install the tip seal, we're going to want to give an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch to allow for thermal expansion as the pump warms up. As we go around the pump, you will notice small grooves. These teeth act to bite into the tip seal to hold it in place. You might need to use your wooden dowel in order to press the tip seal in and make it sit properly. Again, avoid using a metal tool as to not scratch the anodized surface. Now take your scissors or cutters and trim the tip seal a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch away from the end. Now we're moving on to the next tip seal. This also has another set of grooves right here where I'm going to use the wooden dowel in order to press the tip seal down into the groove. Trim the tip seal an eighth to a quarter of an inch away from the end. I will now move this to the side and do the same for the outboard housing. Follow the same steps as before pressing the tip seal in and using your wooden dowel to press the tip seal into the spots where the teeth are. Now we have finished cleaning and installing our new tip seals in the outboard housing. Grab the pump and we're going to install our new O-ring. Now take the outboard housing and line it up to install it back on the pump. We're going to take our six five millimeter bolts to attach it. I'm going loosely at first and then I will come back around and tighten them. Now I'm going to put the pump back down on the table to install the foot. Put 
The foot is installed this way. Now before replacing the cowling, we're going to put our top piece back on. We can now reattach the lifting eye. Reconnect the lead for the fan. And working the cowling around the exhaust, we can put it back on. Remember to attach the foot and the bottom before finally screwing in the cowling. Now to better access these final two bolts, I'm going to flip the pump up on its end. This will just give me better access to tighten them. Okay, now we've put the cowling on and tightened all the bolts. This IDP-15 is cleaned with a new tip seal and is ready to be returned to service. Hopefully this video helps you with some useful tips to clean your IDP-15 and install new tip seals. If you have any questions, please contact Cascade Sciences. Thank you for watching.